Hi guys, it's Missy. So if you notice, I'm tan today. I don't know if you'll notice that, but um, yeah, I have a review for you. And if you look above, it is actually for the um, Sun Labs Self Tanner in Ultra Dark. Yeah, I was not sent this pro sent this product, but I heard a lot of hype on YouTube about it, so I bought it. You know, um, I had to buy it because I was just like, oh, I'm so pale, I want I want a tanner, right? So there's been a lot of hype, and it's apparently doesn't smell bad, and it apparently doesn't streak. I don't know about other people, but those two things definitely apply to the self-tanner, in my opinion, but I still really like the self-tanner. Other than those two things, those are to be expected to self-tanners. But yeah, um, I was not, yeah, I don't know if I said I wasn't sent this product, I just bought it, yeah. So, um, started off, um, this comes with eight fluid ounces. I've had this for four months. That's how long I've been waiting to review this. Hi, kitty. Yeah, he likes it too. <laughs> no. I've been waiting so long because I don't use it too often because sometimes I feel like it can be a little too much. But now that it's summer, I decided, you know what, I'm sick of being pale. So, I decided to make this video and apply it. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, I bought this in the beach bag set. There's like a little beach bag set and um, it comes with an exfoliator, a lotion, and I don't even know where the, I don't know where the other things are. They're somewhere in my room, but I'm too lazy to find them. And then the beach bag and then of course this. I also got the samples on the website and there was um, two lotions that were one cent each and you can only get like one per order. Um, yeah, I got those and then I got an exfoliator sample, which was actually, you had to pay more money for that. I don't know if the rules changed on the site or the prices changed, but yeah, that's how it was on the site when I bought it. Um, I don't even know if it was four months. It might have been longer. I've had this thing for so long and it's literally, I feel like I use so much and it's just down to here, you know? Um, so yeah, this, it smells like cherry. Like, you probably heard that. Like, it smells like cherry and, um, but once you apply it, like, it to your skin, you still get that typical self-tanner smell. Like, it still smells bad. So I don't know why people are like, yeah, the whole self-tanner, I guess, itself doesn't smell bad. But once it gets on your skin, it smells bad. But I don't really care. You know, like, it's one day of your life that you're going to smell like a pumpkin and you'll get over it. So, um, yeah, it really works well. And when you pump it out, it looks like, I don't want to take put on my hand, it looks like um, a dark olive color. So you know it's actually going to work better than typical self tanners because it isn't orange or it isn't just like you know going to turn you orange it's olive so it's going to make you get actually a more natural tan since i am ghostly white i do think it looks a little orange on me sometimes like yeah but other than that like after the first day i'm kind of in the clearing zone it looks more natural so this is the first day but um yeah i think it's a really great product and takes a long time to apply but it's definitely worth it and I know it wasn't that expensive like it wasn't too expensive and I mean the hype about it is it's right except for some things I'm just like no it yeah no so the streaking I don't know maybe I'm just bad at applying self tanners but it streaks on me like I don't know if you can see this you definitely probably cannot there's like a line right here and it's really bad. There's like a bunch of lines on my like shoulder area. I was like, how did I do that so badly? And by my feet, there's just like a bunch of dark marks because I guess I forgot to rub it in. I don't know. But um, it's definitely fixable. Their exfoliator, like if, once you put it on your hands, your hands are going to turn a little orange. Mine are still a little orange because I think I tried to fix it on my shoulder and then it made it worse. Um, you just take the exfoliator and you like scrub your hands and it will come off. Um, yeah. And same with the, like, places where it's, like, kind of bad. You can take the exfoliator and you can get it off, like, in the darker areas and kind of just rub it in and blend it better. So it's definitely fixable. Like, the streaks aren't that big of a problem. Um, so this is typically how I apply it, just in case you're curious, because I know that um, I've watched a couple videos and a couple people have said different things on how to apply it. Like, some people think it's too dark, so then they apply it with lotion. Um, I don't. I, I'm pale, so I kind of want the darkness. <laughs> and sometimes when I apply it, it isn't too dark. And then sometimes it's really dark. So people definitely noticed that I would look tanner today. And then my friend's like, oh, did you use your self tanner? I was like, yeah. She's like, I can smell it. I'm like, it's great. Okay, so typically I'll take a shower. And then I'll, like, shave and all that good stuff, you know, get ready. 
And then I'll get out of the shower, put my hair up, dry myself off. Then I'll apply their lotion because I like their lotion because it's fragrance free, kind of. It's just nice. And I just apply that on my body and use my typical um, moisturizer on my face. Then I um, um, wait a really long time until that sets in because I don't want to mix them. I don't want to mix this and the lotion because the lotion's just regular like moisturizer. It's not like um, tan lotion or anything. So then I apply this and it takes me. Well, a good amount of time to apply like I'll do like a pump on my face then I'll do my neck and my um you know my back and my ears and all that stuff and it takes a really long time for me to apply and I try to be as careful as possible but it definitely um you can get streaks really easily but it's it's really a good product like you'll have to, you think you go through so much but I'm still have so much left so I use like a bunch of pumps and yeah so I start on my face then I go to my chest area and go to my torso then I go down on my to my arms and I try to do my back that's the hardest area to do like you need someone to help you or something I don't know I can't do my back very well <laughs> then I do my legs and I just finish up any other areas I may have missed and that's about it and then I let it dry and then it develops in a good amount of time and then wake up with a tan. I usually do it at night. So yeah, it's a really great product. I definitely suggest you guys try it if you're pale like me and you want some tan skin for summer. <laughs> so I will link down where the little beach bag deal that I bought. Um, I told you I'm not affiliated with them, but I definitely think you should try it out. If you guys want um, me to do some more reviews on products... Definitely we'll do that. Um, just give me suggestions on what type of products you're interested in me reviewing. I thought this would fit because of summer. And yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this review. And he definitely is a little camera hog. He likes to be on camera. So <laughs> sorry about that. Okay. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. He's <laughs> like, what the hell?